Okay guys, so here I am back at the throne chair. I got my Mampa tools set up, I'll talk about those in a minute. Um, you see how I got uh, the eagle heads on the chair for any of you that are just new to the channel or new to this video? Kind of got the, like, my spirit lines kind of going up here. It's still burnt. So what I got to do today is make this side up here like whoosh, those lines with those cracks in there like those lines I got to carve this uh, 502 in that's local 502 longshoreman with the hook I got to replace the hook he wants it straight up and down uh, clean off the eagle beaks okay um, like sand them down uh, there's just tons of stuff I got to do on this chair so put one more kid's name up there there's his kids names up here they wrote it out and I just carved and I transferred it to the wood and I carved what they wrote. So guys, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to start uh, lots of work to do today. I'm going to cut these out with my uh, Mampa tools. I'll show you after I draw it on. So it's the same as this side. I love these Mampa tools guys and I'm, I'm not a salesman. But I'm going to use this cutter. I think this is a two and a half inch uh, or three inch, two and a half inch uh, multi cutter set. So I'm going to cut it with this. You can see those teeth on there in the Mampa tools. I'm going to cut it with this. Then I'm going to go back. And I got this uh, King Arthur disc on here. I think Mampa sells these discs too. This is two inch. And they go on your grinders, guys. These are grinder attachments. They come from Korea. Great people, man. Great people. So I'm going to cut it with this. And then I'm going to sand it with this. All right. So I, just got, I got so much stuff I got to do here today. I just got to get at it. And I'll try my best to do some filming. Okay, so carving this big old sucker. Carving this chair is so dusty because all the dust gets trapped inside here, right? I, we took, Rob came down and helped me remove the center block so I can stand in here. It's much easier. But you guys look, that's all rot there. That's the center of the tree, so. You know, I've done the best I can possibly do with this chair. Um, see it's still got cracks and stuff in there I just can't it's hard to cut it any deeper because you don't want to make it too thin I know I got the dowel in there I'm gonna eventually clean this foam out and carve this dowel down deeper then put a real cedar plug in there to get rid because you're not gonna get proper color with that that's that gorilla glue that foam stuff right it's not even not that hard actually but yeah so I'll clear that out so now I got this all done okay Now I got to get my uh, die grinder 
with my cut saw and get down here lower, right? So it all comes off. So I'll get that done. No need to film that. I still got to carve his other kid's name in. And the 502. And I want to burn everything really good today and sand it. But first I need to take a break. Uh, okay guys, so. I uh, sanded the, be the eagle's uh, beaks down with um, that orbit sander, okay? I got the 502 in there, I got the hook in there, and I did do some carving. I used my uh, normal grinder with the cut saw shaping disc on it to do this stuff here. Like you see, that's kind of like waves over the hook or whatever. Because that's what long shoring is. It's all like basically unloading, offloading ships from across the world, right? Long shore, man. Shore, shore. There you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull out the torch and I'm going to burn all this in here. All those letters are going to be painted black, right? So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn it quickly just to get the fuzzies out of there. And then I might paint it black before I go home. Okay, so I got it all burnt in there really good. Now what I'm gonna do is paint uh, everything black in here, okay? The letters, the hook, the 502. Because tomorrow when I come and use the flap sander, well, it will make the black paint stick out. It will be dry, right? I'm using water-based cheap dollar store stuff. I asked my buddy, he's a world, world known uh, professional uh, native carver using chisels and stuff like that. And he just uses dollar store paint and um, the wall, just cheap acrylic paint and uh, the paint lasts forever. So that's what I'm gonna do. Like normally I'd, I'd spray paint those letters in, but it's this wood's wet guys. That's why I'm using this water-based stuff. I don't know if there's water-based spray paint, don't care either. I don't know if I'm too happy with these eyes. I got more depth. I might uh, recarve these tomorrow and give them some eyelids. You know, it just looks too cartoony like this, right? I got like, look how big his eyes are, right? They're like three inches, four inches, three inches. My fingers aren't four inches long. <laughs> Anyways, I might uh, redo the eyes tomorrow. So also guys, look at the already. Um, the mold that's growing on this. Can you see it? It's everywhere. So I still got to do some investigation to see if I want to stain this to treat it in the next couple days because the wood's so wet. I'm going to bring my moisture detector tomorrow. I knew I bought that for some reason. Okay, so anyways, that's it for me today. I'm going to reburn this whole thing again tomorrow. Probably first thing in the morning. Okay, let's get a good look at this guy. Hey Pete, this guy looks like the mad scientist. But uh, you guys can see here, I got it all burnt. I got it all painted. Hold on a sec. Okay, let's take a look. Sorry guys, my mind was wandering. I got it all painted inside the 502, the hook, all the kids' names. It's all painted, it's all burnt. So tomorrow, I am gonna be uh, using Pete Blair's uh, mandrels for my drills. Tomorrow this thing's gonna come to life. This block is still out. It's uh, right here. But I think we're gonna put it inside his place, his cardboard, his garage. Let it dry out for the winter because I think that just needs to dry out because if I put wedges in there to, and put it all in there now, 
the wood will dry and shrink and the wedges just might fall out so I don't know what's the sense of it also tomorrow guys I wanted to finish this part today too like this here and that there but I don't have my chainsaw pants I just got jeans on right so I'm gonna bring my chainsaw pants and do a quick carving in this stuff tomorrow you kind of see I got some lines in there I'll take a picture of it and look at it at home tonight and then tomorrow I might just do a quick carving on those pieces this and that so anyways guys let me know what you think love reading the comments hope you all good and uh, it's getting there tomorrow it's pretty well gonna be done I think besides the seat the seat a thousand percent is waiting till next year okay because that wood needs to dry out tomorrow she comes to life that was easy that was easy that was easy what was easy that was easy what was easy what was easy? That's how you know you got a nice bird in there!